Paclitaxel, in effect, kills the cells in the wall of the artery, whereas Sirolimus stuns it, puts it to sleep for a while, and then when it wakes up, uh, the cells in the artery wall are no longer stimulated by the injury that we caused, and then that will not lead to restenosis. So potentially it's a very good drug, drug and it has some other attributes. It's a very powerful anti-inflammatory agent too. So a combination of simply stunning the cells in the wall of the artery and reducing inflammation should lead to very good outcomes. Both agents work very well, but we know from chemotherapeutic trials and work that's been done in the coronary arteries that they have a therapeutic window. So this is the, the amount of drug you can give and yet remain safe. And that window is much, much wider for sirolimus compared to paclitaxel. And this has got implications because quite often we use more than one stent or one balloon, and quite often they're overlapping. So with a wider therapeutic range, with a wider safety margin, uh, that would allow uh, more intense uh, therapy uh, at the time of treatment. Both agents will have an effect on the healing that happens uh, if you implant a stent. Um, so that both therapies will delay healing. Now, acute thrombosis within coronaries is a major event. Within the peripheral arteries, the arteries are much bigger so are likely to be much more tolerant to delayed healing. So I don't think even using the same agents and combining that with dual antiplatelet agents, I don't think delayed uh, thrombosis is going to be a major issue. The meta-analysis looked, looked at death, which is most likely related to the systemic effects of the drugs. But of course, the drugs have got local effect too. And because paclitaxel kills cells, then it's killing the cells in the wall of the artery, and it's re reducing the amount of connective tissue there as well. And what we're finding is some patients are coming back with local aneurysm formation. Now, I don't think that's likely to be an issue with sirolimus. So I think sirolimus is likely to have less systemic problems and much less likely to have local uh, toxic effects on the artery. Some of the aneurysms are quite small, two centimeters. But once they get bigger than two centimeters, most will require repair. And we already know some patients have had uh, endovascular and surgical repair for their aneurysms caused by the packet taxes.